it would be very interesting to know whether the advice was that we we need to have minimum number of fatalities and the shortest possible period of time before we're out of this uh, pandemic. If, if that was the advice, it doesn't seem as if we've been following it. There's a very simple question. Why is Britain now emerging as the country with the highest number of deaths from this uh, pandemic? Uh, and why is Greece, for example, in Europe, emerging as one of the countries with the lowest number of deaths per head of population. Now, I'm not calling this committee to, to look over, to haul over the coals of how we got to this place. I am calling this committee to give advice, how do we move on from where we are now to getting out of the pandemic with the least number of deaths, further deaths, and the shortest possible period of time before we're out of it so that our economic recovery can begin. SAGE is the government's scientific advisory group for emergencies and an alternative to it will meet today live on YouTube. The group of 12 experts are calling themselves an independent SAGE and say they're concerned about the makeup and expertise of the official committee and the number of its members employed by government. The alternative group is chaired by Sir David King, Emeritus Professor in Physical Chemistry at Cambridge University and the former Chief Scientific Advisor between 2000 and 2007. Good morning. Sir David. Good morning. Um, you are calling this an independent sage, one that gives robust, unbiased advice, which implies that the official sage is not doing that. What is your evidence for that? I think mainly uh, the evidence is that we don't know what advice is coming from the scientists on sage uh, into the government. In other words, there is no transparency in the process. And so when ministers and the prime minister say that they are simply following science advice all the time, we, the public, don't have any check on that. Although we see so, the scientists at the daily news briefings. We see the scientists at the daily news briefings, but usually with a minister uh, present as well. And it, that is very, very different from being free to say what your advice is. In other words, there's a complete unity between what the scientists are saying and what the politicians are saying. Uh, in my view, the scientists put science advice into the government and the government makes strategic and policy decisions based on other factors as well as the science yes, but advice. But in effect, what you're saying then is that when we see Chris Vitti or Patrick Vallance or Jenny Harries or any of the others appear at those podiums, they are not free to speak their minds. That when they answer those questions, they are deferring to ministers. I believe that's the case, yes. Next, the scientific committee that advises UK government ministers on coronavirus has been criticised for being too secret. The names of some of its members are not public. An alternative, then, to the official committee, the Scientific Advisory Group for Emergencies, or SAGE, is being set up. And the rival group of 12 experts will meet today live on YouTube. They're calling themselves an independent SAGE and say they're concerned about the makeup and expertise of the official committee. Let's talk to the former Chief Scientific Advisor, Sir David King, who is going to chair the alternative group this afternoon. Hello to you, Sir David King. Good morning. Good morning. Um, what's your issue with the Scientific Advisory Group on emergencies then? I don't have any issue with the science advice that is going in from the scientists on that group. Um, in fact, this is more a, a unity of science views that we are seeking here. Um, we're bringing together a group of experts across this country, but also from overseas, to advise us on how we move from the present day to into through the lockdown and, and out of it. And the idea of this advice is based on two simple premises. One is with the least number of further fatalities, and secondly, as quickly as possible so we can return the country to uh, norm, norm, normal economic behaviour. The, not... the, impl the implication seems to be that you will, you will, your group will come up with potentially something better than SAGE. Is that fair or not? What we will do is put our advice into the public domain. For me, that is the most important thing, that any science advice should be open to the public uh, so that the public can see what advice is going into government 
And then when the government says it's simply following science advice, you and the media and the public can judge for themselves whether or not that is happening. The exemplar country in Europe has been Greece. And in Greece, three days before the first death in Greece, unlike any other country in the world, Greece started doing the business of going into lockdown. Uh, this was on the the week beginning 3rd of March when they began this process. The result is the number of fatalities in Greece per head of population is certainly heading towards being the lowest in the world. The result is that Greece is emerging from its lockdown uh, from this day, today, May the 4th, and they have put into the public domain very clearly what the procedures will be for gradually releasing people back to, to normal behavior. It's quite a long process. Yeah. It has been put very clearly into the public domain. Does it therefore follow, uh, f from what you've just said, that if the UK had started testing earlier, if lockdown had been brought in earlier, the UK might have a lower death toll right now? I don't think there's any might about it. Of course it would. 